potential break chance for Colombia as they go the other way. Here again, go backwards, wide open. Mosquera on the near sideline now. Get goes with a short pass to Cardenas. That is the Manuela variety of Cardenas. They reset it safe. Mosquera now on the other Cardenas with a nice upline cut. Is the other Cardenas with a nice upline cut. And looking for that short pass. They go or break. They quickly move towards the other half. Cardenas. Looking for the break throw. Doesn't take it. Goes around. Goes to Cardenas through the middle. So we really see the Colombians relying on the quick looks. Not afraid of the smaller pass. Oh, and a stall out, was it? We had a stall. Immediately, the Colombians pick up. But is there going to be another stall out on the other side now? No, they managed to get it off. Ramirez spreads it wide to Alba. See a little isolation in the front of the stack. Cardenas with a huge backhand into the end zone. She ripped that one, and it's another score for Jimenez. And a break for Colombia, Liam. Jose Jimenez with his second goal of the game, showing his dance move there. And yet again, another Lady Crossfield throw from Colombia to beat this Japanese defense. The Japanese more famed for their Lady throws, but the Colombians using them here to great effect. And Japan just not clicking at the moment. You see a stall out, some throwaways. Yes, there's great pressure from the Colombians, but you got to feel like the Japanese not playing at their best. Colombians... Debatably the best ultimate team here, but you have to say maybe the best dancers. Definitely. There's different teams with different moves, but in terms of rhythm and a little bit of shaky shake, I think the Colombians must be right up there. Yeah, famed for doing dances in their warm-ups and halftime preparations. Feel free to join them whenever you're around that team, I think you would be more than welcome. Duque has been doing the pulling on the men's side for Colombia. Yeah, the 36 year old coming out of Bogota. See a little isolation in the front of the stack, Cardenas. See a little isolation in the front of the stack, Cardenas. With a huge backhand. Knees, move it quickly. Asada. With an overthrow, Cardenas makes sure an overthrow, Cardenas makes sure it goes to the ground. Cardenas. Cardenas with a save. The task at hand. Cardenas, Forero. And I think Cardenas, of course, one of the hardest matchups. The Japanese can get friends. The Japanese can get would almost say annoying on the mark. Oh, and here... Defense. And this is a bit unfortunate for the Japanese time to do that straight off of the first one. Cardenas. Goes back. Colombia with a short field to go. Can they get another break? Trying to bring home the game quick. Didn't. Yeah, the Colombians reading the Japanese like an open book. Cardenas. Chance to bring this game home. Felipe Ramirez goes to Cardenas. Duque now. Cross there, but goes to the ground. And Manu, who's been playing a lot on the D-line, D -line, gets things rolling quickly for the Colombians. Teams yet to find a good response to the fluid movement turnovers. Colombia go the other way. Reminds me of like a step over in soccer, just let soccer, just letting it pass over your chest there. Almost a little matrix. It's a travel and you haven't thrown the disc yet, you can bring it back in straight away, but it did have to come back after I throw Mascara looking to box out and does oh very well the French. Not just sure if this is just the immense Colombian pressure. They're just not connecting right now. Connecting right now. Cadenes with a big back she was intending to do. Restore their three-point lead. 
the clump. In the center of the field. Andres oh, Ramirez yeah. again, completely free by himself downfield. It's pulled even. Ramirez to Cartenas. Cartenas. The lovely. Immediately go the other way. Manu. On the Colombian side, really do have a preference. Really do have a preference, and Mosqueda is one of those people you cannot allow to get deep. If you can see the respect that Cat Phillips is giving her, as but you see that small ball, quick movement style, ultimate, and holding on a long time. Mosqueda again, far side. Cardenas fighting on the sideline. Taking the disc away from Egan Griffiths. Nice around break off of. It's going to be an easy one for Manu. Yes, it is. Manuela Cardenas over the meter advantage given to the team from the brick mark. Manuela Cardenas. Galera Cardenas passes to her twin sister. They needed USA pressure. Deepens. The Colombians trying their luck with female ultimate. Manu has the disc and gets it back. Manuela Cadenas brings it in for Colombia. Fact as, as though she was going to cut towards the end zone. Big Colombians with a chance. The crowd won't like this at all. Ferrero gets it back. Simon Ramirez continues. Ramirez downfield. Colombians Tomas. looking very aggressive. Ferrero. Simon Ramirez cut back. Ramirez again, chance to break here for the Colombians. It's been called back. You see Cardenas putting on a cap there, maybe slightly disturbed by the sun, or else just to confuse the opponent. Simon Ramirez being, being called a travel. Mano into the end zone. Knocking on the doorstep was Colombia, but a pick will be called. No, no, not a pick. It's been called as a point for Colombia. There was everyone was looking around. Everyone was stationary, wondering why Ferrero was so free in the end zone. Manu Cadenas finds the pass, and Colombia find their second break of this second half. They are back within one. The uh Maria Forero, the 29-year-old out of Bogota, one of the few players out of Bogota on this Colombian team, the majority of them being out of Medellin, brings a second break, the much, much needed break to keep Colombia in this game. This will be an interesting point to re-watch, Tom. A few calls there. One travel call each, wasn't there? Uh, yeah. Nate Goff called a travel on that Big shot downfield to Finney. And then Cardena, Cardenas being called out on the second one by the American defense. Luckily for you, we have the video footage available. You will be able to watch it back, judge for yourself, spend hours and hours analyzing with your ruler you, you on the screen. You don't have to do that. Social media will do it for you, don't worry. <laughs> Colombia 10, USA 11. Colombia coming out on defense. The crowd are cut back. Called a travel. Simon Ramirez being, being called a travel. Mano into the end zone. And a player on the floor. It's going to be a contact made between Lindsley, the two number, and uh, Julio Duque. The two number 10s taking each other out. No call. Coming in on zero. Cardenas. Cardenas. Floats it around. Manuel Cardenas. Back to Carter. Get that one back. Into their first chance to take an early break. UK pops to Cardenas. One slightly less known for Ford. To Cardenas. Looking around for options, finds Cardenas. Options finds Cardenas. The chaps for the Colombians were going to make the bid. And a timeout called by Cardenas. 
the second turnover over the game for Nico Muller. That's as much as he's had all tournament long. Definitely a player that needs to be firing all cylinders for Germany to win this game. Colombia now one possession away from having a perfect half. No turnovers so far in this first half. Just I think we have three turnovers now from Germany and have been punished every time. Incredible performance from the Colombians. Absolutely showing their class here on the field. And I'm like, how do you feel about this timeout, Liam? Because I know you're not a fan of the in-play timeout. Again, there, there is circumstances where I, where I understand it. I think happened yesterday when you're a point away from half, where well, you can only have one timeout per half. So if they didn't use it now, it's likely they'd never use it. So I understand that there was a change of possession. There wasn't a chance to make a quick break. So essentially just having a quick water break probably does favor the offense. So I'm okay with it. Well, we'll see how it pans out. I think they're... Uh, I'm a fan of, especially as you say, in this part of the game where you've only got the one time out to use, you might as well have a moment of pause, have a check in with your coach and say, right, what's the game plan here? Of course, you do give the defence the opportunity to see exactly how your initial formation is set and apply the ideal marks from static. Manuel <laughs> Libert there on the mark for Manuel Calderas. <laughs> Close marks, everyone swarming the, the level shots on those flicks. I like Back to Cardenas. Giving and going and switching the disc, disc around. Jimenez. The last for options. Cardenas coming back in. Oh, and she's going to open up another huge mark all the way around. But the last for options. Cardenas coming back in. Oh, and she's going to open up. So the foul is accepted.